Well, the first meeting of Toronto's new city council today brought together old and new elected officials in what was supposed to be a ceremonial first day. There was a cloud overhead, though, created by the strong mayor powers for John Tory that definitely cast a shadow over the proceedings. You impugned the privilege of this assembly by requesting that Premier Ford provide you undemocratic minority rule powers. With that, the tone for the new term of city council was set. Councillor Josh Matlow standing up during Mayor John Tory's declaration to ask that he rescind that request to the province for strong mayor powers. After the ceremonial smiles, handshakes and photos with council being sworn in, Tory took the time to try and address the concerns, not just from Matlow but others as well. I am committing here today, first, that I will only utilize this measure on housing and transit matters of citywide importance. Second, that any proposed use would always be preceded by a staff report independently written by our staff. And thirdly, that I will, without exception, without exception, try first to forge a consensus through the use of the council process. While Tory has repeatedly said he wants to find consensus among councillors, the new provincial legislation has been called undemocratic. You know, we were elected here to represent our communities and I want to work collaboratively with the mayor and council to make sure that, you know, uh, all our voices are heard uh, equitably. Um, so that is a concern to me. I ran on a platform of empowering people to have a voice and so we see around the world that democracy is very frail uh, and so I am very concerned, have expressed my concerns uh, and will definitely be advocating for something different. The day actually began with a heartfelt Indigenous welcoming ceremony held in Nathan Phillips Square including the mayor and most city councillors. I've invited um, residents of my ward, Davenport, who uh, feel that this victory of bringing me to council is actually theirs to celebrate together. It's a chance to share with friends and family who have worked very hard to get here and who will pay a huge price in the next four years. Um, and also, my grandson is turning eight uh, today. The ceremony, however, the furthest thing from a child's birthday party, with the grown-ups going toe-to-toe -to -toe about how the city should be run. And it is this all-hands-on-deck imperative that has me absolutely committed to working with every single member of City Council who is willing to work with me to get things done for the people of the City of Toronto. John Tory should stop making this about John Tory. The, 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 the legislation does not say which mayor this is going to be for. It doesn't say, do you trust this mayor or mistrust the other mayor? This is about a complete uh, restructuring of the role of mayor and it diminishes the role of council and the voices of the local communities. So there you have it. Uh, the meeting continues tomorrow. Thursday is a matter of getting down to business with the province's controversial new housing bill and its impacts on how the city handles its own affairs officially on the agenda. Chances are we'll hear more on the strong mayor powers as well with more councillors looking to have their say.